already at 100% accuracy. So yeah, just hitting myself at this point that I didn't get that Dark Reaper squad instead of the second uh, Banshee squad as I should have, because then I could have just tied up his whole army with one Banshee squad plus the Farseer, and actually had some firepower which I could use in combination with Guide to actually attack him. So there's a, a bit of a, a note for people looking to try out Banshees, only get one Banshee squad and then go Dark Reapers. And there you go. But uh, despite that, he hasn't been able to actually get any ground here attacking the left-hand side of the map and on the right-hand side of the map where he sent one uh, squad of boys over to deal with me. I uh, have the, the Dark Creepers and, and wow, I've made another stupid mistake. Uh, casting Guide on my Rangers anyway, that must have been a, a misclick or something. <laughs> or uh, just a, a, a panicked, uh, oh, oh, I know, I'll just guide them. It can be useful if they're broken. Like if, if they lose their morale, then, then Guide helps, but uh, Guide doesn't increase their, their accuracy above 100%. So the Dark Reapers have polished off those two orcs uh, harassing me over the west hand side, sorry, the east hand side. So I've sent them over to actually fire at this listing post. Uh, unfortunately, they're in range of that post. They're not taking too much damage here, but I, I should be moving out of range. As you can see, that, that one dude is actually taking a little bit of, of a hit. Now, the orcs are moving through the center of the map, actually decapturing the critical objective that I took there. So that gives me line of sight. I actually see the orcs are in the middle of the map. What I'm doing here is bringing all of my army right back to my main base. And the plan here is just to push through the middle and uh, and try and force a fight and uh, use my superior uh, numbers advantage to, to take them out. I finally ticked up a bit, got to a uh, aspect portal. Sorry, not aspect portal. Support portal. And getting a lot of upgrades from my soul shrine, especially Call of War, especially the plus ones, plus... Uh, well, the bonuses, usually call them plus one and plus one to uh, weapons and armor in, in StarCraft, but that's not the case. It's more like 50% bonus in this game, which is huge. So that's why I'm getting them. I've got a fast here, so upgrading some of the fast here abilities like Eldritch Storm. Fortune's quite good as well, uh, if, you can, if you can attach your fast here to a, a very vulnerable squad, like the Banshees, actually. So the Banshees using their uh, washout ability, now they've got Call of War, the Exarch and the squad's been able to do that. It looks like he's got a squad over there, not contributing to the fight. But uh, I realize that I've run too far into the uh, um, too far into the orc base. I haven't actually got any fire dragon support yet, so I pulled back, knowing that I'd need to wait for a little bit more support before I rushed in and just lost a lot of requisition, having to reinforce all of those squads and not really getting anywhere. I think it's very important uh, in in Eldar vs orcs to go for at least one squad of fire dragons because taking out war banners is very useful. And as you can see, he's got vehicles here. The best point, uh, best thing for me to do is get the fire dragon support. And finally, the fire dragon support has arrived. Well, actually, that was pretty quick. Uh, so, feeling pretty confident now, heading through through the orc space, laying down some eldritch storm on their boys there. I think that was eldritch storm anyway. Might have cast uh, psychic storm, but either way, trying to get some area effect attack on the orcs. I've got plenty of uh, range stuff at the back that ranges and the guardians ready to shoot squads. Tying up his boys here with the uh, banshees. The banshees are in a bit of trouble here given the, the sheer number of orc buildings with guns surrounding them but uh, with the Farsia leading them they should be they should be just uh, durable enough to be able to deal with this. In the meantime the plan is just to get the fire dragons trying to shoot down the buildings. They've managed to do that uh, successfully so far but now they've got themselves wound up in combat as you can see over here right over to the background we're just going to zoom in. Uh, luckily <laughs> Yeah, two squads of Banshees, not working too badly for me here, I actually managed to take out the units that were tying up the Fire Dragons in close combat, now the Fire Dragons can just start laying it down. I've actually got two whole squads of Fire Dragons at this point. So a huge number of Eldar infantry units, and I've got a, 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 um, a Falcon backing me up. So things looking really, really positive. I think what the Orc player should have done, and I'm just going to reiterate this again, I've, I've already mentioned it, but what the Orc player really should have done to uh, punish me for, for going with too many troops earlier on in the game is just to take up a little bit quicker. He probably could have got a uh, mech shop a bit quicker, to be honest, and uh, he probably could have uh, taken up the flash kits uh, quickly enough, I think. I don't play Orcs, so uh, I'm kind of guessing here, and uh, a lot of people will have to reprimand me for, for not uh, knowing everything about this game that I, I need to at this point, but I am picking up a lot of stuff. Uh, if you're the Orc player, uh, feel free to post comments as to what you would have done in this situation. Uh, if I was the Orc player, I would have tried to take up a little bit quicker. I wouldn't have been so offensive early in the game, noticing that uh, my opponent, the Eldar player in this case, would have gone for uh, so many squads. And uh, thankfully, I was the Eldar player in this game, and things did go pretty well. So this appears to be it. I'm just going to keep commentating because the, uh, the game doesn't end quite yet. But... Uh, yeah, really enjoying the new patch. I've got uh, got Harlequins working now. You don't lose all of your requisition and power. 
if uh, you use the Tons of Death ability, which is cool. I've been using uh, Harlequins a fair bit when I go for them. I didn't remember developing Harlequins this game, and by the looks of things, I don't need them. Uh, the Banshee is just doing such a good job in combat that uh, things are fine. This Orc player is actually building some units, some some more buildings, sorry, uh, down the bottom of the hill, down to the east. Uh, meanwhile, I've polished off his base, so... Uh, yeah, I don't really see him being able to do anything from this sort of situation. Unfortunately, we're going to close up with this little... This lone shooter boy here being surrounded by banshees and quickly shredded by Sinkle there. Hope you guys enjoyed my Sink Kills video, it was a lot of fun to make. Hope you enjoy the music in the background too, that's uh, The Disciples of Zelda, my uh, personal music project. Which I had a lot of fun uh, recording, you can also download a lot of those MP3s. I've got a, a Wraith Lord just scouting out his uh, building attempt down here at the east. Smacking the uh, the Gretchen, the Grotz away before laying waste to this boy's hut here. He's, just, he's decided to keep a boy's hut uh, alive down here, probably to to build something from it, which he feels he needs. Sheer number of squads here is just uh, ripping through the buildings. And there's the GG. So thanks to this guy, I won't name him, but you can probably see what his, his uh, nickname alias is here if you zoom up in the video close enough. Got a little uh, uh, a Big Mac, uh, sorry, not a Big Mac, uh, a mad dark bomb there being defused before it could explode, so quite fortunate. Now, he's got a squad of uh, flash kits, and so my Wraith Lord's taken a bit of a pounding, so I'm just I'm moving it back, and I'm going to repair it, and I can just come back with a number of Wraith Lords later. But, uh, yeah, flash kits, if he'd teched up to these a bit quicker, and had them around at the point in time where I was assaulting his base with all of my army, he probably would have had a pretty good... Uh, a pretty good uh, defense and might have been able to stave that, that off and eventually win because uh, his, his he definitely out teched me this game I mean he has look at him uh, flash gets a further further along the tree I haven't actually got to tier two at all well I've got I've got a soul shrine so if you count that as tier two I haven't actually got the um, the one that gets you the, the, the tier that actually gets you to uh, what do you call them, the, the, the seer council and the, the the second round of uh, weapons and armor upgrades. I think, I think that's usually referred to as tier 3, whereas the uh, Annihilate the Enemy gets you to the Avatar, and that's that's technically where most places, most races would be at tier 4. So, uh, yeah, I am at tier 2 technically, but not tier 3, and uh, with Flash Kits, uh, that is pretty much all tier 3 is, as far as I know. And uh, that's pretty much it. We've got three Wraith Lords heading down the hill. Nice shot with the moon in the background once again, having repaired up the one that was a bit injured, and... Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.